Could you use a little extra storage? How about a place to sit and put on your shoes? Or maybe somewhere to hide stuff before company comes over. I yeah, don't judge. An upholstered storage bench offers an easy storage solution and, as the best pieces are, is a multifunctional piece of furniture. Don't spend money on an inexpensive bench that will break the moment your toddler decides to spring off the bed and land on it. Experience talking. Build a bench that will be as sturdy and useful as it is beautiful. To build this bench, I joined pieces of white oak, then added some beading detail around the edges for some extra style. The sides are formed of plywood, which I set in place by dadoing grooves in the base. The side supports are also made of white oak, whitewashed with varathene antique white. I whitewashed everything before adding the upholstery, including these gorgeous turned feet by Osborne Wood Products. The side supports are attached via glue and brad nails. And if you notice that they don't actually form the main support for the box, you're right. I lined the inside of the box with black material and the outside with upholstery fabric. I simply glued the material in place, then nailed the sides of the box together. The top ledge is the trickiest part of this build, and I outlined two ways to do it on my website. I chose to route a 3 8 inch deep groove in all of the top pieces that form the ledge and then miter the corners together. Miters can be frustrating sometimes. The best advice I can give is to start with one side and sneak up on the other side, taking small cuts at a time. The groove fits over the plywood sides and hopefully those corners will line up nicely. You can route a matching beading profile in that ledge to really up the wow factor. I added extra supports inside the box, mostly because I like to overbuild things and it looks nice as well. You will also need these if you plan to add soft close hinges so they have something to attach to. Now, upholstery is not exactly my cup of tea, but who wants a hard top, right? I used high density foam and simply wrapped the top rather than sewing it in place. Sewing is definitely the better option, but it is what it is. I lined the back side of the bench top in more of the same liner material that's inside the box and tacked it down with upholstery tack strips. The feet are attached using these Rampa metal inserts. Use a drill press, in this case a portable option is great to ensure the inserts are going in straight and screw them down to where they are flush with the wood. Again, using a drill press, create holes in the feet and use the drill to screw in hanger bolts. I've linked to all of these details on the blog. The feet now simply screw into the bench bottom and can be removed easily as well. I attached the top with the piano hinge and chose not to bother with soft close hinges at this point, though they are a great option. I can't tell you how much this thing weighs, but it is definitely sturdy and it fits a whole lot of blankets. So there it is. I have detailed instructions on my website if you would like to make this storage bench. Whether you are a beginning DIYer or you are quite comfortable with power tools and ready for a challenge, this is a great build to test your skills and create something you will be proud of. Check it out at www.thecreatedhome.com and be sure to follow along on Facebook and Instagram at The Created Home. Happy building!